most restaurants you go, you don't see people on the restaurant. They're not there. The manager run it. After a couple of couple of years, they go down, lost, closed down for sale or bankrupt. Then uh, we are here. This is like a marriage. That's why I said on that newspaper, you married your wife, you married your business. I have two wives. You have to take care about both of them. drive around it was uh, if you find a place it was uh, uh, burned completely is there was 41 market street and there's a sign said uh, call this agent then we call the agent agent comes and uh, me and him we have a t-shirt that uh, very casual type young man and the land called the landlord landlord came is laugh at me and him then he said oh you guys you want to do this are you sure? He said, yes, yes, we're going to do that. If you're not, we sign a contract with you, sir. You can ask us to leave. But we're going to spend some money for re remodel this place for you. We didn't uh, have enough uh, budget to do that uh, uh, equipment. We have one, uh, one oven. Then no dishwasher that time, no ice machine, no pasta machine, nothing like that. I used to go to buy ice from Meeting Street to Market Street, my shoulder. Bring it back, hammer it, put it in a glass, sell it. That's a fact. I don't hide anything, Charles, only on a witness. I bought a pasta machine for uh, $18, then 200 portion from 12 to 5 in the morning. But when we go home, you have to put the wicks on hand, put the pillow under it, because <laughs> one hand is bigger than the other. Then uh, uh, we built it. We built those restaurants, me and Shuram Agapur together. We appreciate what we have today. We love people, not because of all it. We love people because of who they are. Always we like a family with the employee and, and the customer. We have, uh, we have a person work with us since we opened after one year. Her name is Pamela Washington. She stayed with us that many years, 33 years. I asked the other one is uh, Agnes Jenkins, 25 years. Then and then Russell, uh, uh, Chris Russell, a fireman and the chef for dessert. Here is a 27 years. We have a dishwasher, Stony his name. He loves this place, 25 years. All of us like a family. We see each other every day. We love each other. If we have problem discussion, I I asked him call my house, my number, my cell phone. And I asked Pam one day, uh, how come you stay with me and Sharam that many years? So you want to know? I said yeah. He said well, you're not a gambler first. You are a, a party pooper. No, you're not a party pooper. You are coming to work. This is my job security. You're not alcoholic. I married a woman, uh, her name is uh, Lenora Owens. She worked in MUC hospital. Also, we married 22 years. She's from Aiken, South Carolina, horse country. The lovely woman, Shuram. Uh, is a very nice guy. I grew up with him, Shuram Agapur, in uh, about 40 years from overseas to here. We're like a brother. Then, you know. Ooh, long time. We know each other. I mean, everything you can. Before he opened the mouth, I know what he want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> we make our own breads, own dessert, and uh, all the cookies, large cookies, smaller cookies. We we sell it for long, long time. Saffron has a very good reputation. We just remodeled this place, about seven months ago. We designed it to this had you outside we never had the outside before okay. 
Army Wives, uh, they started a movie from Hollywood in Charleston about three years ago. Then I meet uh, two ladies and one guy is the manager for Army Wives. They came here and said, uh, oh, that's what I'm looking for. He said, what you looking for, sir? Is he looking for this thing you serve here is that for overseas. Let us take a picture of that. He said, okay, before you take a picture of that, let me have your card, what type of job, or job you have or title you have. Let me see it. Then he said, I'm a manager for Army Wife. It's okay. Then he goes to his car, he brings me a picture of the food. He said, can you, we don't know how to make this. Can you make this? I said, yeah. I said, when? I said, tomorrow. tomorrow. I mean, today, tomorrow you pick it up. Then me and Chris Russell uh, did it together. Then tomorrow morning they came. They said, my God, let's just take a picture before we eat it. They said, okay, what do you guys want to do? Then uh, they have very good connection in Charleston, bringing money from Hollywood economy-wise because Charleston wasn't ready. It's better ready this every year. Getting this guy come, the other guy, corporation comes. That's very good for us. They said, uh, we couldn't done it without you. The job done. That's Saturday, last Saturday, first floor of the Gelia Auditorium, we lease it. We feed 600 people that don't have money, food. To touch the food. I asked Gelia and Robert Ford come. I said, we come. We, uh, they both know what we did, ask him. Then the people touch food, is that real? I said, no man, it's not a plastic, it's real, yes. <laughs> uh, they eat, we didn't say, who did that? Nobody knows. We get a broom, sweep and mop, me and him, then uh, nobody confused people, they don't know, because the table is, you can fit thousand people in that first floor. I don't know if you guys been there or not. Then, we have a very good time, and they feel good about it, and the God said, when you make it, you share it. If you don't share it, you take it back. I that. have a customer, uh, she called me, she said, uh, I came uh, to Charleston to visit my daughter. Then she take me to your restaurant, have a pizza. I like that pizza. I said, good, thank you, please come back. She said, no, I cannot come back right now. We live in New York. Then uh, I said, what do you want from me, ma'am? She said, could you uh, fix five large pizza halfway cook? Don't cook the other half. We cook it in New York. I said, okay, ma'am, uh, I am. Uh, I take it to airport for you, and uh, and you responsible to pay the delivery to airline. I uh, bring it. To you. Then I said, ma'am, by the way, there's a Greek, Italian, American, all kind of pizza frozen cook in, in New York. Why me? He said that the the way you make it is a completely different. I live all my life in New York. None of none of that like this. The sauce, the dough, the quality is like, you know, you love something to eat. Not is a pizza delivery is not all that. Then uh, connection with the customer, we meet lots of different personality and love lovely people. Their problem, they don't have problem, and make sure everybody be happy and uh, enjoy the food, enjoy the atmosphere, enjoy the service. You know, they come to Paris, welcome all the time. Reach to him. Personal touch is the best thing. Also, I remember people last name, first name. That's very, very important. At the door, when the customer come, they want a full attention. I was telling the hostess, if you're busy with something, I'll take it. I'll take that, see that customer and welcome them to the restaurant. I give them the menu, I talk about the food, what we have, what's special today then they enjoy the food very much. They can tell their friend, they said, look, look, Ali, I bring my neighbor. Then that's good. That's more that business. Is, but Charleston is growing very, very fast because of the people of Charleston and Joe Riley and Robert Ford and Gilliard. They care about people. That's why I have. We are number one bakery in Charleston for baking. Then uh, this is 11 years, we are number one for bakery line, since we open it. Well, we, we're very happy that uh, uh, people trust in us and they give us the good life and good accounts. I'm very, very happy with what I have in my life. Then my health, my wife, my child, this business.